My name is Justin Luke Riley. I'm a young person in long-term recovery, and for me that means that I'm an asset to my community. I'm a better husband and a better son. That also means that I haven't used drugs and alcohol since 2007. In the beginning of my alcohol and drug use, alcohol did for me what I couldn't do for myself. I, I felt better about myself. I could talk in front of people. I could go to school and be okay. But eventually, alcohol and drugs took everything from my life. My happiness, my family, the few friends that I had to my name, it, it just took everything from me. Before I found recovery, I could have been in a room full of people and felt alone and scared and hopeless. I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like the way I sounded. I just didn't like who I was. When I was 19 years old, I attended my seventh treatment program. And finally, finally, after all those years and different kinds of meetings that I had gone to and met with a lot of great people, something finally clicked. And for me, that was learning that I could contribute to life. That even in my circumstance, I had something that I could give to someone else. I heard a message that I had never heard before. I heard people use words like helping out God's kids. And I had just never heard that before. The best way that I've ever heard faith explained is that faith is like film and it develops best in the dark. And in my case, early on in recovery and even later in recovery, there was a lot of darkness. Leaders that had helped me even get to where I was at that point in time, they had passed away, committed suicide, or they themselves had overdosed or even gone back to prison in some cases. When I was able to resolutely make a decision that I was no longer going to live with alcohol and drugs in my life, regardless of circumstance, my life started to change. And I was able to add value to other people's lives outside of my own. If you would have told me five or six years ago that my dad was gonna be the best man in my wedding and my family and friends were gonna to come together on one day to see me marry a woman that I could never have imagined to be with for the rest of my life, I, I just wouldn't have believed you. I would have never thought that my life today could be so extraordinary, not only filled with faith, and family, but a lot of fun. I get to meet with some amazing people all over the country that are also young people in recovery and also people that are outside of this recovery movement that absolutely believe in what we're doing and that's helping other people and seeing what we can do to contribute to society. My vision for the recovery movement at any age is that people hear a message of hope and they hear a message of solution that they learn at any age from any level of experience that they have something to offer someone else and that there is hope and that there is solution for everyone.